Hey guys, so uh, Arizona part two, I guess. Um, right now we are going to be doing some road cruising, some habitat hiking, and some other stuff. Have my snake tongs and hook as usual. Gonna try to find a western diamondback rattlesnake. Here with my dad, he's gonna film a lot. Um, say hi, okay, great. Uh, we have this um, wood pile, some sticks. I'm gonna go walk in, see what I can find. So guys, kinda saw it in here. And I was like, yeah, it's open, but hey, see if we can't find anything. Because the thing is, rattlesnake, if any snake, they're gonna use this to. I see a board. Hmm. Woo! Okay, trade off. Um, here the pond. Yeah! Look at this, guys. Look at that. It's so perfect. Good news, there might be some more. Let me just have a look at these tongs. Yes, guys, I did get new tongs. If you guys haven't seen the last video, go watch that. I uh, didn't find much. But basically, these are new polymer plastic tongs. Has a really nice grip at the tongs, polymer plastic. And then here, perfect, with a thumb lock. It's beautiful. Love this thing. Okay, guys. So, uh, still looking. Basically, what I'm really looking for are tracks. Any sort of sign that's indicating there are snakes out here. Now, I know that they're out here, but I don't know where they are out here. So I think what we're gonna do is, I think we're gonna actually go and we're gonna walk this path. So follow me, guys, but um, this path is perfect for snakes. Because they have a nice open area, but they can always retreat. They're gonna be crossing it. Maybe, we're lucky, we're gonna have just enough time to put a tongue or a hand on it. We don't know. That could be a California king snake, goat whip, gopher snake. Could be something like that. Or it could be a Mojave or a diamondback. You see? Oh. see this guy? You get a lot. Cool. Lot of sticks with you. So I think um, we're gonna cut right here, and then I think we're just gonna walk until we see a good area, and then we'll go, get going. So guys, we have a little bit of tin right here. I think I'm actually gonna step on this side because if the snake comes out that way, I should still be able to Nothing, pal. That looks so good. Okay, guys, so I guess we're just going to keep hiking. Uh, okay, guys, so we are road cruising now. Um, yeah, it's not fully dark, so we're just kind of road cruising. Oh, up here, guys, saw Coach Whip yesterday, so I think I'm going to cut until we get up there. Okay hey guys, so now we are looking. I'm gonna see if we can't find a snake or something. Guys, look at that. It's a Gila monster. Oh my God. Mate, don't leave yet. Don't leave. I'm not allowed to touch him, so I don't want him. I don't want him to leave just yet, but guys, look at that thing. It's a little baby Gila monster. I'm gonna get a picture. Okay guys, this is my first venomous lizard. It's actually my first Gila monster ever. So guys, I think we just need to make sure that he gets off the road. So we just need to make sure that he gets off the road. It's actually illegal. To illegal to touch them. We're not allowed to touch them. So it's a reticulated, I think it's a reticulated Gila monster. Um, or Gila monster. Oh my god. Guys, that is so insane. Okay guys, so we're just gonna watch him go off. My dad, I think, is gonna 
Step around and take a look, Dad. Hey, Dad, take a look. Yep. Woo! Yeah, no, these things are federally protected. I can't touch them. So, uh, it's great. Oh, my God, Dad. <sighs> oh, my God. I'm going to get right here. Oh, I just want to make sure he gets off the road. So, basically, guys, what I've heard this bite is like is hot lava coursing through your veins. And woo! It sounded really bad here. I'll get the light back. Um, so, that is not a fun bite. There he is. Um, he's really small. I'm going to just put my foot right next to him. So he's pretty small. He's a small lizard. But woo, packs a punch. Now, instead of two fangs, I actually have a whole row of teeth. I'm going to get uh, a couple more pictures, and then I think I'm just going to get some video. Okay, guys, just wanted to get a photo, some more photos. But that right there, guys, is a helon. And I guess I can be this close. I He's tiny. But um, woo. We finally, guys, this is my first heal of my life. Hey, guys, so he's going to just walk on up here. I hope it's just going to run off. Um, whoo. I really wish I could touch them, but you can't. It's illegal. So we're just going to leave him. He's actually part of the beaded lizard family. No, yep. Okay, guys. Woo, that's great. So, guys, um, we have this. And uh, we're just going to flip it. Oh, this is a separate bit. I'm going to flip this. Ready to the snake boards that we get one. Okay, there has to be a snake under this one. See anything? No. Uh, okay. Oh. It's tearing, pal. So I think we're just going to have to pile this because I don't think we're going to be able to get it exact. So we're just going to pile this in a, sort of the same way. Okay, guys. So, um, found some more. More little things. And I could flip. There's not going to be a snake under that. It's just too uh, breaky-uppy. Another piece. No snake. This is Calicking. Um, I think I'm just going to walk him a little bit off the road here so thing is with these snakes is just gonna admire that habitat okay this is good actually um so now i pretty much just put him down and he goes off into the wilderness run i'll catch you again run there and that's how we do it how a king safely released woo